chat will be up in one second. There we go. So I bumped into this on the way here. Uh. Yeah, please, I just can't do this. At least not much of this cave. I thought it looked interesting. If other caves opened up by the heap of evil, let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know. I was already itching to go home. Ooh. Ah. Come on, little sis, you can do it. I mean, we travel all this way. We could gather those bright caps inside, at least. That's what we came for. You can find them only in caves. We have them here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have ten of them. Uh. Oh. Oh. I remember that soft light. Could, could it be you have some bright caps? Oh, okay. I thought these two were going to follow me through the cave or something. I'm still going to check out the cave. You're a lifesaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. I have to say, it's amazing you collect as many bright caps. I mean, they found were only found in caves like this. Ooh. It's amazing. Oh, you love a good cave, don't you? And so do I. I love all sorts of wonderful things, learning things, valuable things. Yeah, tutorial level stuff here. Tell me about gems. Oh. Ah. Never, not that. Unless you know, maybe mm. you agree, I think. Sorry, forget you heard anything about that. Uh. If we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? Then we'd have something to tell him. Ah. We'd have to tell him. Ah. Okay, it seems like there's a quest line. Probably a new piece of armor. Be ridiculous. That was just thanks for the bright caps. Ah. I will say, we're scouring high and low for something here in the Heber region. We searched most of the south, but so now we intend to go north. We'll meet again. We'll tell you that. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret, of course. Well, see ya. Ooh. Hey, let's head out, Megan. <laughs> yeah, see you around. So, I finally started upgrading my armor last night. And, uh, this is still my best right now, to be honest. Uh, I still have to get another upgrade in on some things before they can surpass it. That's why I'm going to be doing the Great Fairy today. That's a silver. Do I have a little like like? I don't.
Ooh. Yeah, um, so I was heading down this path to head to this, uh, musician, and yeah, I saw this cave, and it looked like a good one, so I'm glad I did this. Oh, it's a new piece. A cold weather attack outfit? I assume there's a fire one, too. Cool. Made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth. Yeah, that's a neat uh, new effect. Uh, the weather-based attack boosters. That's cool. It's cool to see an outfit for that effect. Because, I, I, I mean, that was like an MVP when I fought Gliok. You know what? I missed the spot in here, I think. Uh, there was another path that I could have took, but I went right instead. I could have gone up more. There's stuff up there, too. Oh, in fact, that's actually where I was looking at. Yep, I had a feeling there'd be one of these in here. I should be able to get the next piece of, uh, thing from Kelton's brother. Nice. Talon almost just blew it away. Okay. Now I'm done here. Well, if you're ever wanting to start getting that, um, you just uh, you just follow along this road, and right around here, there's a big, tall cave. Uh, where'd it go? I'm looking the wrong way. I got turned around. Oh, okay, I was behind the rock. And those ladies were outside it. <clears throat> All right, whores. That work. I'll try not to get distracted again. <laughs> I want to get this fairy done. Uh, okay, so I gotta hit. This. The last stream, I was able to get another uh, fourth sage as well. Um, and while I was playing off stream, I upgraded Riju. You know what? I should probably clear the monsters from this trail. Because I'm probably going to have to bring that person up this way.
by the intro. Oh, okay. I'm still gonna have to carry someone down this road then, probably. Oh, no, wait, though, the Great Fairies to the north. Not a whole lot, hamster. Uh, I did get a new piece of armor. Uh, there was a cave along this road. And uh, it was this. So I got like a new uh, outfit that boosts my attack when in cold weather. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait. I think they're over here. I thought I was going to have to climb up. <clears throat> Horses can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. Just go. <laughs> Boulder with your horse fingers and climb up. Oh, hey, you come out in here to rescue me? Uh, I used to play horn with the stable trotters, it's true. What? The great fairy went into hiding. So the troop is looking for me? Well, then bad to worse. From bad to worse. Heard how the Rito village north of here is struggling to get enough food? It really breaks my heart. The Rito always were always good to us and our music troop was touring the kingdom. Oh. So when I heard about a fierce blizzard tearing in the Rito village, I couldn't just sit and do nothing. I slipped away from the troop and made for their village with supplies and songs to ease their burdens. I got my wagon going at a quick trot on this road, but then I suddenly drove into this hole. It didn't used to be here. Oh horse I was hiding, riding, came from, uh, ran off somewhere, and my cargo was spoiled. The only thing I have left is this wagon. I, I didn't know that while I was stuck in this hole. The great fairies went into hiding, and my troop reformed. It sounds like I should go back to the hole, uh, get out of the hole, and join back with the stable trotters as soon as I can, but huh. I can't climb up the side of this hole, not without my wagon. At least, I'd rather not leave it behind. Aww. I believe that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. Okay, I had a feeling it was going down this way. This will probably tip if I try to do it this way. Or 
This is gonna be ridiculous. Uh, that's a little floppy for my liking. Oh, it attached to the wheels is why. I didn't think of that. I think I'm just going to do away with this part. Thing is... Hmm. If this is sitting on the wheels... I wish there was a way to attach the wheels. Yeah, you can't. That's annoying. Why don't... Hang on, hang on, it's hitting me. I, I realize now I can just put this on top. Like the whole... Block piece. In fact, you know what? Let's speed this up. I, I should have it in my history. What I had earlier. There we go. I was trying to do something about the wheels because as soon as those fans turn on, they're gonna make it blow forward and that's probably gonna mess with this a bit. What I could do is use these boxes to hold it until it lifts off. Uh, I'm not really the reveal type. I don't think I'd do a very good job of it. Alright, dumbass. to add the fire. It's kind of an important part of a hot air balloon. Okay, now we're good to go. Oh, nice. I didn't have to like help him with landing. That was easy. Whew, I'm finally out. That was fun. I got so nervous. I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did. You did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. 
Yeah, I guess I probably could have just rocketed them out. Like, I could just put some rockets on the wagon and shot them out. <laughs> that would have been fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, come along. I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. I had to think of it. If I hadn't made such a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval, ran out of my troop, maybe things would have been ended up, wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed the Rito village had all spoiled by now anyway. Huh. I should get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That'll do more good. For the time being, I should head to Snowfield Stable and play my horn for the great fairy there. Oh. One more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up in my travels. The last I can do, least I can do for you for getting me out there. Okay. That's yeah. not terrible. The real price is the Great Fairy, though. You know, the sad thing about the weather attack up armors is I'm planning on getting the Fierce Deity set, which is going to be automatically better than that. Unless weather attack gives more attack boost than just plain old attack boost, I, I don't see how it's going to be more efficient. The only thing I think could save those armors compared to the, when I have the Fierce Deity armor is if they have a really fucking good set bonus. Ah, hello, hello. I know you, Traveler. We had a delightful development. Look. I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think that our poor fellow is getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. To self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the cart anymore. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. Yeah, yeah. Now that Eustace is here, we can bring the sound of his horn to the Great Fairy. It would be wonderful if we could go and perform it right, for, for, right away. Of course, there's always something holding up the show. Alright, this again. I'll try not to fuck around this time. He wants a roof on the breezer. I saw that, despite my skimming. I wish there was a way to temporarily, like, lock things in place. That ought to do, right? It could be Entro. Alright, time to pull out my wagon puller. Uh, which one is my puller? I think it's Shadow Fact. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Mm. Ah.
You're doing the fire temple right now, intro? Cool. While I was playing off stream, I found that new enemy variation that intro was talking about. It was a fucking Lionel. A silver Lionel with armor. He wasn't too tough. And I actually ended up walking away with... Look at this shit. Silver Lionel Saber Horn. 50, 55 attack power. And then a 51 attack power Mace Horn. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, if you want to send a picture, go for it. It's not like you'd be, like, ruining any sort of surprise or anything. I've already encountered it, so. Uh, we simply must put a performance in Great Fairy. The music will be just the thing to encourage our of our bud. With the roof of our breezer in disrepair, we can't reach her. Our breezer has been fitted with a roof. Yeah, yeah. The world hasn't abandoned us. I'll never forget your kindness. I'll accept your offer. All aboard, everyone. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just... Oh my god, there's more new stuff? Yeah, don't send me that then. Oh, oh I don't know. You know what? Send me the location. And... You know what? You can, after the... Never mind. You know what? After the, um... Maybe after the dungeon, you can point me out to it. And I'll go check it out on stream. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what it is. I'm curious. Oh, wrong way. What a neat game. Imagine, like, going back in time and, like, showing your, like, five-year-old selves this game. The kid that was blown away by Mario 64. Oh boy, we got company. there. Let's not have any mishaps like the last time. I tried to dump them into the swamp and then I found that my cart preset doesn't save. Oi! Oh great fairy, the stable trotters have arrived. Yeah, yeah. You've done it. You've, thanks. Take us right to where we need to be. Alright everyone, time to dawdle. Strike up the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. Image for ants. Oh, I gotcha.
I got you. You made it small. Probably the same dialogue here. I'm just gonna skip through it. Good money. I was thinking, Entro, that um, you could just like, I'll just like open up the map or something when it's time, and you just tell me like the direction to like warp and then run. Um, uh, no, and hamster, I think this might be their uh. Their answer to Tingle. Oh, I don't know, though. Kilton kind of feels like the new Tingle. Oh. Barn, this horse. He, you know what he kind of reminds me of? I never got far in the game, but he kind of reminds me of the villain from Spirit Tracks. Um, I'd like to do the DS games eventually. I've never beat Spirit Tracks. Oh. Okay, so now I can get level 2 upgrades. Honey and Claws. I hate dragon farming. I hate that you need two of each part. I, okay, good. I was smart to collect fireproof lizards last night. I was hoping to do this tonight before the fire temple. Oh yeah, it looks like your animations are all the same as the first game. Yeah, I'll show the level 2 one anyways. Where's... Oh, here we go. <laughs> now this armor actually holds up to my uh, phantom armor. So now this should be able to use the set bonus. Fireproof. Fuck yeah. That's gonna be handy. Is a set bonus to make... Ah, uh, I probably would have liked to not know about that. That sounds pretty sweet, though. That's very good. Nice to see some little memory of the champions around. Yeah, I bet you that's probably what the uh, King Gliok in the depths is guarding. How many wills do I have right now? I think I'm all out. Yeah, I spent all I had. Um. Okay. The wills are only in the sky. Oh.
Now I'm trying to remember what the hell I got for... Whoa. You okay? Uh, I don't think that's the typical minerals you guys eat. I'm pretty sure you're eating crack rocks. You're not getting a single bite of this. And don't you dare touch the tower marble rock growths in this city center either. I already called dibs. They're all zombies. Well, this guy's fine at least. Hello. Okay. Anyways, where's this marker? It looks like it's on a bridge. Up there, maybe? Something tells me- oh, wait a minute, it's the fucking meat in the middle. I'm a dumbass. Everyone's just getting shit-faced on this stuff. Tastier than diamonds. Oh, <laughs> I can't steal it while they're high. <laughs> you too, and after all my warnings about the marble rock roast. No. Everyone's acting funny because no. it's the marble rock roast that President Yonobo's mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Oh shit, is that him? You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Ah, uh, shit. Oh. Why is Yonobo coming off as an asshole, though? There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Looks like he's older now. Obviously, it makes sense, though. It's been about five years since Breath of the Wild. Uh, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny, I barely even noticed you. Right. No, but what's the big idea, talking like that to our esteemed guest? Huh. Pluto, should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Huh. Slargo, tell me who runs Goron City these days. Oh. It, you know Boko. Hey. And off Rackle. Who's in charge of Yonoboko? Oh. You are President Yonobo. Huh. You hear that, Pluto? You're not needed around here anymore. Hmm. You're thinking I'm just gonna sit here and... Yeah. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Huh? It's a Zelda, huh? You're wondering about any strange goings on. Hmm. Princess Zelda, I heard she'd gone missing. You're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Uh -huh. Does that mean hair? 
Oh, the lady with the hair like that, she's the same one President Yonobo talks about. Talks to about marbled rock roast. Huh. Pipe down, you two. You keep your traps shut if you know what's good for you. Huh. As you can see, Goron City is a picture of is a picture of peace. We can't help the princess with Princess Zelda. So you better shove off. Huh. I need to go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Right. I think he's under like some sort of mind control because this is just not Yonobo at all. You know what I swear, if you bring any more of that stuff, I'll... Oh. Ah. Make it back. Ah. Stodgy old guy, sticking your nose into things where you got your spine to worry about. Slurgo, off rack, time to head back to Yenoboko. So the princess shows up and suddenly he's an asshole. And we know it's a fake princess. That's like fucking with everything. I think he's under some sort of mind control himself. Or that's a fake Yonobo. Like that might not even be him. It would be it could be a fake like the Zelda. Or another puppet of Ganon. Yonobo's probably like trapped in a a Giga Agent, you know what? That would be fucking amazing if you're right. You're already playing the Fire Temple, though. So. And I don't think you'd just spoil me like that, so. That would be a funny plot twist, though. Co it's it's Koger's it's Koger's brother, uh, Shmoga. He's basically Koga but blue. You know, that's a sad thing, is, um, we're probably never gonna see Koga, I mean, uh, Suga in this. Uh, I think he was a one-off character, but, uh, he also wouldn't be alive by now. Like, the Koga we see in this isn't even the same Koga. Koga's just a title. Age of Calamity was a hundred years ago, so... Hey, it's you again. The one who knows President Yonobo. He's talking about marbled rock roast for the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. I don't really like that lady. It's definitely the marbled rock roast's fault that everyone's been acting funny. Yeah. President Yonobo said he'd get that weird mask. He got that weird mask he's wearing for the lady, too. So he's so nice. As soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Yup, mind control. I had a feeling it was something to do with the mask. You're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know, he created Yonobo Co. for mining. It's supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, you convince President Yonobo to make Yonobo Co. stop mining marbled rock growth? There goes, you hear that? Am I gonna get like a Yonobo mini boss where I have to like fight him to get the mask off? <laughs> this looks like a little arena. You know, well, um, and sure, that actually wouldn't be the first time I had to beat up a fake Zelda. Um, we've had it do it before, um, like puppet Zelda from Twilight Princess. I mean, that was actually Zelda's body, but it wasn't her in there. That already, President Yonobo. I want you to take off that weird mask so you can go back to the President Yonobo we know and love. Oh, boys. 
Princess Zelda's right. Marbled rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Oh boy. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm fighting Yanobo. I kind of want to get the boulder breaker as him like this. Perfect boulder breaker compendium entry. Oh, you know what? I probably have to use this when he's stunned and pull the mask. me that time. I got caught on a... Okay. Can't believe Inobo's fucking dead. I don't understand. Ooh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe can show t she can tell me what the story is. Huh. Hey, where is she anyway? Huh? Princess Zelda. Everyone all right? Nobody's injured? Huh? What's that? I said I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda's just outside the cave. Uh, that blonde lady was Princess Zelda. Huh? Yeah, I need to ask her about that mask. And the marble rockets, uh, rock roast. We gotta hurry and talk to her. The only way to break those uh, red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. <laughs> Link, be my eyes and guide me, Goro. Okay. Aimed in any direction. Fiery rolling attack. So this is all you know about his ability. I'm in her and this is a good replacement for bombs. Seems handy. It'd be a good way to save on bombs when I'm mining. Looks like it charges fast, too. That did the trick. Come on, boys. Let's go after Princess Zelda. Yeah, that's still pretty decent. And when I get those like endless walls of rocks that you have to break through, that's gonna be really handy. I'm not seeing her. Uh, what's that red haze spouting from Death Mountain, Goro? You don't remember President Yonobo? He told us the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. it showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly, and you were worried Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. 
You came back from the mountain. You are wearing that mask. Huh. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. Mm -hmm. Does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? Mm -hmm. She's definitely not up there. Maybe we go up there. If we go up there, we'll find her. Oh. Slurgo, Offrak, I'm going to go looking for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. I'll ask her to get everyone back to normal. Ooh. So wait back home for me. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> yep. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Hey, I'm all for this. We got an older, braver, you know, Bo. Alright, it's time to whip out my secret weapon. <laughs> Ow. I should uh, probably... This'll do. It's not even that great of a weapon, it's just stupid looking. Oh. I didn't even know you were at a funeral. Well, welcome back, Fluff. So, um, one thing I was thinking about, people say that Gibdo bones make for the best arrowheads, and I'm going to be honest, uh, I guess if you're, like, spamming a lot of them, that's true, but there's a lot of different horns that would also do a lot more damage. Like, I could fire an arrow that does, like, 50-something damage. And if I get a headshot crit with that, that's a lot of fucking damage. Like, if I had the resources to, I could probably do something like that with, like, a... Like, I probably have, like, a Lionel Saber horn. And just, like, one shot of Silver Bacoblin or something. <laughs> uh, I'm going the wrong way. In fact, you know what? Why don't we just, uh... Attention where we're going here. Yeah. You know what? Well, he's down. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, that would make them, like, the third strongest material. And I guess overall, they're the best in that regard because they are more... Yeah, but then you have, the, like, the silver horns that are, like, 55 and 51. Speaking of, I, uh... Hang on, I can actually show that off real quick. Uh, wait a minute, that's not the compendium. Yeah, this is what I fought the other night. 
This guy had some chunky armor on him. But it was a silver. An armored silver. It only took me two tries. He wasn't that difficult. One flurry rush was all it took to take out his armor. I had my armor on, my uh, my phantom armor, and a uh, I had a tier three attack food going. It lasted ten minutes, and I was able to stack those two attack boosters and wail on them with like some of my better weapons. He went down pretty easily. The real danger with him was the fact that he was a malice as well. So, no room for mistakes. And when there's no room for mistakes, I tend to do poorly because I get very um, nervous. But I actually did fine. <laughs> we weren't even ready for theirs, that's funny. It's always good to put your weapons away when exploring. Oh boy, it's everywhere. Oh boy. go through this cave and ascend. Never mind, there is no cave. Uh, bye. Oh, there's a cave over here, though. Okay, it's two ceiling. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, that's cool and all. I see you have a side quest, but I'm good. You just found a quest vendor after selling the item. You could sell for a higher price. Ah, oh, that sucks. So I guess I want that shrine because the camera focused on it earlier. Link just can't do slopes at all in this one. take out a rocket and shoot myself up.
have a rocket? Yeah, I do. Wow, that's just fucking gone. <sighs> I had the same thing happen last night with a uh, white Lazelfos, a silver. The fucking horn just immediately sh just rocketed down the mountain, and there's just no time to do anything about it. All right, I'm just gonna have to climb. Yeah, I was trying to use recall, but I just there was no time. It was just gone. And Link can't turn around when using recall, which is really annoying. I wasn't facing the right direction, so I had to quickly go out of it, turn around, and then use it again. And in that time, it was just gone. I really hate that Link is just completely incapable of turning around when using that. You also can't, like, look up or down much at all. You're very restricted in your, like, view. It's strange. Recall can be, like, this strange mix of being, like, the most, one of the most overpowered runes. And yet, at the same time, still managing to be, like, very underpowered in some regards. Like, just let me turn around. Let's do this while we're here. Why not? It would take a couple minutes. I want to try something. I'm not going to break it. I am going to do this legit, but I want to see if I can get up there. You know what? I can do this. Hold it up like this. I could definitely do it, but it's not worth bothering with any further. So there you go. If anyone wanted to cheese this one, they could probably just climb up there and then glide to the end. Though honestly, this one's not even challenging. It's just drive through the lava. I say that, and then I'm going to get stumped on something further in. 
that's over here. Anything? Looks like it's just a death hole. I'm gonna grab the ball. You know, Entra, you're making me, I mean, the hamster, you're making me very, uh, tempted to try it, you know. No, that's definitely a death hole. It's definitely. that That's their way of, like... Throwing at you, like, oh, you better be able to stop it in time. Sort of thing. But... Is there anything down there? I'm doing it anyways. You're a bad influence, hamster. <laughs> That's for the penguin. in case I need this. Oh boy, we're playing with wings now. Maybe it will get challenging. What's wrong? Like from here, it's just fly to the end. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Don't ever try this at home. <laughs> Will I make it or am I going to clip aside? <laughs> this is stupid. I wonder if all the shrines are connected like they were in Breath of the Wild.
Yeah, there's no way I was gonna hit the top without bumping a wall or something. And yeah, Fafa, that used to be a means of farming arrows in Breath of the Wild. You would just find a spot with a lot of... Uh, there was a spot by Zora's Domain where there was a ton of Lizalfos with bows. And you would just run in circles while they shoot at you. And collect arrows. That's not what I wanted to do. Link didn't pull out his... Glider or start climbing. Please stop sliding. You know what? Why don't I just do this? You know about just narrowly misses crushing Link. Huh. Link over here. I'm ahead of you though. Oh, he teleported. He, he learned how to do the Mario. here when I came up the mountain I saw her the princess was standing right here Goro and then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around after that um oh jeez it's no use I can't remember anything that happened it's no after use. that Is this the boss? Morgagia. Oh, that's cool. It's a, it's a mini boss. Oh. Huh. I thought they were doing like they did with the Gruta Desert, where it's like, hey, you get to encounter the boss before fighting it in the dungeon. Oh. So that's cool. It's an unique. Broke out of the crater like it was nothing. It's that marbled rock. Is it alive? And there's three of those things? Hang on, no, those are heads. It's so big. How could something that large appear out of nowhere like that? Hmm. I've never seen anything like this on Death Mountain, Goro. If you take that thing out, who knows what'll happen to Princess Zelda. Hmm. I can't exactly charge at it from down here. Oh. Any ideas, Link? It's real big. Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm saving. Oh, 
Well, this is getting dangerous. Reminding me of Ocarina of Time, trying to climb Death Mountain and having rocks fall all around you. Yeah, I've always been a. I, I imagine you're probably supposed to go underground and maybe hit it from underground, but. Like maybe there's like a cave path to it, but. I've always been a very gung-ho kind of person. I'm just going to charge right in there and maul this thing. I'm the legendary hero. They can't stop me. I'm supposed to fly. Oh. You know about oh, you know what? That's probably the only way to do this. That they probably want to teach you to use your nobo while gliding because I, I did, I've have, I've seen some clips of people doing it while gliding. the start of this here oh look at that they even have a contraption already for me got batteries and everything whoa won't have it for long though if it keeps hitting it Oh, that's cool. He just automatically is ready. That's fucking cool. If we can't get it higher up, we're gonna be in trouble. Question is, how far can I launch him? Oh, that's gonna be a miss. I love how fast he charges. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love that you can use them on the gliders. Now I can do like aerial bombings. I'm a dome lane in TF2. I knew what I was doing. Arc shots are my specialty. Once I know the trajectory that the bombs take, their speed and their arc, I can just sort of calculate it. Did it? We did it. That was a thing anyway. What was it? What was that thing anyway? I thought Princess Zelda walked off uh, somewhere around here. Huh? Wow, you don't suppose she fell in that hole, do you? Oh, I bet that goes to the depths. That's going to take us right to the dungeon. Nice. Be awful. Come on, Link. 
Let's hurry down there. But it's a Zelda, don't you worry. We're coming. Dungeon time. Okay, so this was the lead-up leading to the dungeon. Um, that said, I will say the Water Temple was the only one that disappointed me. That was a very annoying lead-up to the temple, but everything else has been solid. This was cool. The Wind Temple, like, leading up to that was pretty cool. So, as far as dungeons go, Water Temple is definitely my only complaint. Oh yeah, I did a little lighting down here. This is actually where I got that screenshot the other night where I'm like, Oh wow, guys, I found a new structure! And it's just the Fire Temple from the other side. Okay, so it is to the west. Yeah, my, my big issue with the Water Temple, it was just running around across the map talking to people. You, you like, run across the map, talk to this guy, then run across the map, talk to that guy, then you go back to the guy you just talked to, it's just like, oh, come on. Yeah. Wait, I have to land down there first? But didn't I... What if I warp back here? Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay. I figured he was going to be waiting for me at the temple. I didn't even notice the... Oh, okay. He's right here. It's this way. Hmm? Oh, no. It would look like this inside Death Mountain. Now that I look closer, I see a whole lot of those red rocks. Huh? Why would Princess Zelda be down here with all this marbled rock roast? Huh? Cobb. things again, but, I mean, you heard that too, right, Link? Because I definitely heard someone speaking just now. Let's see, I think... I think it was coming from that away. Maybe this has to do with Zelda. Yep. I got a heap of pile of questions for her, so let's hurry to where Zelda is. I always like the Fire Temple aesthetics the best. Haven't really gotten much of a look at this one. But I got some high hopes for it. Nice thing is, all the lighting I did down here off stream last night, uh, it looks like it lit up the whole dungeon, so I won't be fumbling in the dark there. Though there's probably torches and shit. What kind of like like is that? A fire. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Um, I think it's, uh, Amster, I think it's marble rock that's been corrupted with, uh, gloom.
I didn't realize that those rocks were actually something that can be interacted with. I guess now that I have Yenobo, I can actually look under them. There's probably some with, like, treasures and shit. Here I go. Yeah, like this. That's cool. Kind of harkens back to the classic Bumble Rocks and Zelda. That you need that special tool to get through. So with enough money can probably make a real depiction using red marble. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Dungeon. So easy to lose focus in this game. What is that? Okay. <laughs> I can do it. Charge. Look how fast he charges. It's so nice. Here I go. Let's go. You are going to be amazing for mining, you know, No more breaking my weapons. And I fully prepared for this dungeon. I am completely fireproof. I don't think I can swim in lava, though. Unless they buffed the fire immunity. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to be careful here. That wasn't very careful. This looks so cool. This structure reminds me of the Fire Temple from Ocarina of Time. That was close. Dip my toes. It'd be cool if there was an armor set that let you swim in lava. Is that where I heard the voice coming from? Oh, you managed to get all the armors and sages wheels? Nice. Ooh. What is this place? Why is something like this inside Death Mountain? Huh? Oh. Ah, oh, it's Princess Zelda. Please wait, Goro. I gotta talk to you. Huh? Where, where did she go? I can do it. Charge! Oh, I love this aesthetic. This is so cool looking. This looks like a proper Zelda dungeon. Huh? There's something up ahead, Goro. Those are always nice to have. That's cool. My arrows automatically light on fire down here. Link over there. Huh? 
Not that it'll probably do much good. In an area with fire enemies. Well, Zelda's dead. It's time to go home, guys. Quest failed. Not good, not good. Princess Zelda's stuck inside there. We gotta hurry and help her. How do we get in there, Goro? Okay, where's the terminal? Right here. Right next to us. Moved a little just now, Goro. They thought ahead. They made it so the gate closes if it doesn't open all the way so people can't cheese through no, it. Little rock. The gate you must pass through is firmly locked with five padlocks. You have the power to unlock them all. Do so. Then the gate should open. There's Daruk's voice, but slightly different. My words. Huh? No deny it. I heard it loud and clear this time. Who could it be? Funny enough, Yonobo's the same voice actor, too, as Daruk. Who could it be? What do they mean by young little rock? Hmm. They did tell us how to open the gate, so they can't be all bad, right? So all we gotta do is unlock the five locks, and then we can get in there. Here I go. Let's go. Oh, I was hoping it would fall in the lava. <laughs> I was trying to get a repeat of stream Breath of the Wild 1. Okay, where to begin? Oh, that's crap. Yeah, I'll just stick with this. It's about to break, but it's better. Oh, are you kidding me? Link skipped off the hydrant and just fell right in. Okay. Oh, minecarts too. Oh, neat. So I guess anything with a steering wheel can have Yonobo on it. I wonder how he would behave with my, um... Fire. You dare. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm a little full right now. Know what? It's building time. There we go. Oh, well, then check it out. Oh, what is that thing? It looks like a gong. Attached a silver Lionel horn to a Yiga sneak attack blade and one shot a white boss Bacabo. That's amazing. Yeah, this is a really good, like, change of everything for the Zelda series. The kind of shit you can do now in this in Breath of the Wild. Here I go. Yes! That went exactly how I hoped. I ramped him off of the rail. So, my cart is kind of gone. Oh, wait, though, there's more here. fire.
good picture. <laughs> I can rally an elbow. Okay, uh, Hamster, I think it might be time for you to just like sit in the corner. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to demod you after this. for that. There's another path that I could have took. this. We got a pisser. Probably not going to be very good for combat, unless I'm like far away and getting, and, like I initiate it with Yonobo. I don't really need another shield slot though, hamster. I've had all these shields forever. I don't really go through them that fast. Because I mainly focus on uh, dodging rather than blocking. I haven't even been in all that much of a rush to get the Hylian shield for that reason. You can definitely do some fun stuff with shields, like the bomb bounce. In the last stream, I was uh, attaching explosive barrels to my shield and using those to rocket myself around. Okay, you know, but you're making it hard for me to do this here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I wonder how good an ice emitter would be against the fire layout. No, 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 no. Oof. Alright, whatever. It's not really not even all that great anyway. It's just gonna be like a bow. Time bomb on a shield. Yeah, I can see that being good. Enemy hits it, and then it just blows up in their face, and you're just holding a shield up, not getting hit. Did I already do this one? Yeah, this is the one that I made like the ramp and shot him across. I should uh, probably try looking at my map. Two more. No, wait, one more over here too. further up. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh god, it's one of these ones. These guys are fucking ass kickers. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a stronger weapon for this one. Oh wait, I'm fireproof. You can't even touch me with that. <laughs> Those guys aren't going to be an issue anymore. Oh wait, that's a sonite. Still, it's going to break. 24 ain't bad. first. That should be fine. Oh, there's a hole. Just climb. That's going to fall. Yep. Link can stand there. Get a little rest in. Oh. There we go. Made it. It's a lower level guy. You know what? Oh, I can't lift it with him in it. <laughs> it's gonna send him on his way. <laughs> oh, uh, I got rid of one of my old contraptions that I wasn't using and replaced it with something new. I'm gonna show this off some point. Whenever I have a lot of tough enemies, I can trap them with this. A fucking cage with a floating block. I can basically set a floating box trap.
How much does it cost to deploy it without any resources? I haven't checked that. Six. That's cheap. That's very cheap. Uh, I'm getting a little turned around here. Hang on. Okay, so there is a thing here. Be like inside somewhere. <gasps> Not inside the lava, though. In there. Aha. Too high. Okay, so there's the rock. I'm gonna do something a little crazy. What I wanted to do. Luckily, these things drain slow. I have plenty of time. You shit. Over here, dude. Come on. Well, I guess while I'm here, I can try to figure out how the hell I... I thought he would do that thing where he jumps up and lands next to me. Well, that's a bummer. I wanted to wacky my way through this. Doing a quick scout around the building. That's probably where I exit. Aha! Over here. This must be the entrance to it. No, that's the gong right there. I probably do have to go in from up there with the rock. And then work my way down. And then this is where I would come out. You know what Yonobo can be used on, though, as a fucking glider. Okay, you know what? Time to die. I'm gonna get on flat ground. I'm gonna make myself a plane. 
and we're doing this. I'm gonna save just in case I end up having to get my resources back. Like if I fail, hit something like an idiot. I'm gonna get in the right direction too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over to where I can actually see the rock from. Okay, there's my rock that I need. I'm gonna get back some distance here. This ought to work. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get the materials out so I'm not spending as much. At least have a few of these. Wrong button, god damn it. Wait, where'd the fans go? Oh. Maybe I did take them out? I just didn't... Oh, okay, they just had to fade in. I was afraid of this happening. Okay, okay, retry, retry. This time I need to get more height, and that means actually paying attention to the pillars and shit and, like, avoiding them, and then getting a good turnaround. I wonder if he can do this from a hot air balloon. That might... Can I use a hot air balloon in here? Does that actually follow that logic? I guess I'll find out real quick. Normally, a place like this, hot air balloons wouldn't work. Because the air outside of the balloon is too hot. But, maybe they didn't consider that. And just let people do it. I think the only thing you can't use here is bombs. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay, and then... Oh, I always do that. I actually probably don't need the steering wheel because I'm not using a fan or anything. I just want to go straight up. So there's not really going to be any need for steering. Yeah, this does not make any, like, logical sense. 
but I can do it. And Yonobo does not work on balloons. Wait a minute, this is a different rock. Where's the one I've been looking at? been this high up. Maybe the solution somewhere around here. What is that? Oh, it's one of those rotating things. That's the rock I want. So I should lift off from over there. Okay, I can do it from here. I'm gonna use the uh, plane. Oh, there's a gong here. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this first, and then I'm gonna do a plane for that one. out. so janky sometimes. There we go. And it's the same thing. Perfect. Instead of wasting resources, I would just reuse this. Okay, okay, I know how to do this. I am going to make another floating platform. And just for good measure, Put one of these down so that it holds steady. Oh, you know what? That was a bad idea adding that because it's going to make it always flat, though. I don't think it'll... be a problem if I just do this. All these guys are fighting for their lives, meanwhile making stupid shit bridges.
Did I forget to turn on the... No, it's hovering. It's just... It just sucks. Okay. We're doing the plane idea. <laughs> now that I've used up more resources than I would have if I'd just done the fucking plane. I need a wheel. There we go. I'm gonna bring this with me so I can reuse it. Uh, that might not be an option though. Hang on, I know. And then, pull it down and... It's gonna be lost before I can get to it there. I didn't hold it out enough. Alright, whatever. It did its job. Take me where I want, right? This is outside the tower. I think I went to the wrong spot. I wasn't paying attention or something. Yeah, I'm up here again. This isn't. Okay, now my fucking. I'm having a brain fart here. I think I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> where was I just a second ago? Here, here, here. Here's what I want. I went too high and confused myself. Okay, well, I want to get to the fifth. The tracks are on the fourth. Okay, it's this area where I fought that one with the flamethrower. Okay. That Daruk theme kicking in.
This is it, Luigi. Oh, it's this one I tried to do earlier. Alright, I'm gonna attempt something crazy. We don't need fans. I'd love an ability to take parts like this that you find and just put them into capsules yourself. Yes! Oh, that was a fucking... Whoa. That was a, an evil Knievel stunt. You know what? Hmm. I hate to use one of these, but... Let's just eat this crap. Okay, tell him with the kill steal again. This fucking COD kid, 360 no scoping his bow and taking all my kills. Hook carts to get back. Hmm. That was that. Good dungeon. This one felt like the most classic Zelda dungeon out of all of them. Hard to pick a favorite dungeon. This one was really good, but the pyramid and the wind boat were also like really cool dungeons. Even if this one felt like the most classic Zelda. Uh, anyways, so I guess we're heading back to the main room. They gave me all that stuff, like the hooks on the carts to get back, but I'm high enough up that I don't really need them. Just glide over where I need to be. Or I can just glide right past where I need to be. That's also cool. opened. We had a 
smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. This looks like a boss room to me. Oh, I, I see what's going on here. We're gonna pull a fucking... Goro. Dome... Roll. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, I get that a lot. Spiders. Marbled Goma. Blake, we've got a saver, Goro. Well, we got our crap like Goma. Cool. Watch out, Goro. Those legs will break. Be careful, Goro. Good enough. It's too big to get a proper shot. Lots of different ways to fight this guy, I see. Oh, that weapon is uh, already plus one. But they're not even that strong. Can't throw very far before it blows either.
You never thought of shooting the eye in a Zelda game? <laughs> I don't honestly don't know how you can be no weapons at this part because oh there we go this one's more direct I didn't mean to do that and that one's like not gonna go anywhere There we go. It took too long to actually launch. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I'm still in the same room, so I should be able to do that again. Oh, I missed. better oh you know what I'm rolling under I'm not hitting the legs that's my problem I gotta hit the legs That would burn in here. Oh, wait. Yep. I realized that just as I pulled it out. Fuck. <laughs> Just missed. bit of fumbling there, but overall it was a pretty easy boss. Gleok arrows. Well, I like their own horn or their wings ah uh, what does that do hey i'm gonna have to experiment with that i never thought to use their wings for arrows I don't really experiment with materials as much as I probably do should. I've 
heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. That's right. Eyes do homing shots. I could see the elemental eyes being really good like that. Because it would be a homing element. That would be actually amazing. I have to remember that. I, I, I don't play with parts enough. In the kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days. Sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the demon king, Raru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our power. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Raru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was the imprisoning war. And then some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be Oh god, I think there's a Black Widow in my room. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. I need to kill it. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. It's still young. I need to kill it while it's young. That moment, the duty oh, the oops, sorry about that. Was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsman. Got away. To know about Little shit. War and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the demon crawled under my fucking is furnace. Out there. <sighs> you know, Little Rock. Take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the city. Oh, sweet dreams Goron. tonight. <laughs> Fight alongside the swordsman. So, it's my duty to help you fight? Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, if I don't help out, 
I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. your fist. Hmm. You can count on the Sage of Fire. I'll fight by your side till the very end. And take this. It's proof I stand with you. Full bling. Sage of War wouldn't really be fitting for Raro intro. Be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise. I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. And yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be a, another potential travel companion now that we know about that extra dungeon that I found. Am I really like super far away from getting to that? Who get was saying in the chat the other day that that's apparently not going to be a thing for a while. I can hardly believe you're making me worry like that. I gotta... Please don't be mad at President Yonobo. Oh. It's okay, Slurbo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful. <laughs> you said you'd put Goron City back to normal, and you did. Oh. You're the hero of Goron City. You were when you made Yonobo Co., and you still are now. Huh. Uh, thank you, Goro. Oh. Yeah, we have to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast. The smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Huh. No, I, I don't even want to think about it. Just as Zelda wasn't angry, we ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we were able to catch up with her. It was also strange. When I think of it, it seemed like she was walking toward that giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. President Yonobo, you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda. Huh? No way. Huh. No, I've come to think of it. The person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time. She said to help the swordsman Link. 
Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. Whatever the case is, it means Princess Zelda we saw is an imposter. I'll ask my guys at Yonobo Co. to search the area around the city for any leads in the princess. Even if you're not with me, we're still even connect we're still be connected, Link. You can count on me. We got a full champion squad. Now we just gotta figure out how to get that last one. Yeah, assuming it's the last. I've got my guesses on who it's gonna be. Enthusiasm is great and all, but let's not go digging up any more weird rocks. You got that, President Inobo? Oh. Hey, Link. Visit Rito Village, Source Domain, in Koruto Town. You've got a lot of info by now. Oh. Why don't you go back and report it all to Pura? I'm sure she's eagerly waiting for you. So, uh, I've got a few things I've been wanting to check out. I'm not going to have time for them all tonight, but... Uh, first off... You get, uh, where do I start the Fierce Deity quest? You said there was something near Elden. Was it near Elden Stable? Is there an Elden Stable? Doesn't look it. I guess the closest thing to that would be the foothill. South of Kala? Okay. Whichever one had that. What the fuck? Oh no, banned from stream. This is this is Coffee's final stream before getting shut down. <coughs> uh Oh. Dumbo's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. I'll do more Gazette some other time. I just want to get more fairies. Maybe next stream will be another side quest stream. Uh, I did do a thing off stream. Uh, I got... I got to the uh, other two mazes. Uh, I did the acorn part in each of them and just got the shrine and left. I figured maybe I'll just do the later parts of those mazes on stream. And just skip past the acorn part. Uh, anyways, cave. Oh, you also said something about a lady with dogs. I'll keep my eyes open for that. It was foothole? Okay, okay. It happens. It's a big fucking game. This is probably going to be the last thing I do tonight because it's getting close to midnight and I have to get work done. I might go over a little bit. That's a cave. I'm guessing that's the one. Oh, never mind. This ain't it. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Doggo. We have Doggo. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> we thought we found it, too. Who knows how long it would take to open all those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. Every single chest we open up, open we find the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. Uh, uh, shh. Listen, hush up. Uh, I think I've seen these guys before uh, at the swamp. Trying to get a treasure. You again. You're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? Yeah, same guys. <laughs> What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You come to this cave to find Misko's treasure, too. Misko has a lot of presents in this one. Don't just say that. Shh. <sighs> I remember Misko's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Don't get any bright ideas. If you plan on swooping in and snagging it, think again. Don't worry, Dak. With all those treasure chests in there, there's no way I'll ever find Misko's treasure. We've got nothing to worry about. Uh... You got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen up. You got your permission to go in that cave. If you sense treasure hunters like us couldn't, if seasons treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. Huh. Unless you got a nose like a dog's and can sniff out the treasure. Oh. That's a deck. Let's give a dog some food or something to get to like us, and then it'll lead us to treasure. Huh? That's being sarcastic, person. Ah. Uh. Sorry, deck. These guys are dumb. <laughs> Switch to my cool outfit. Alright, here, Popper. I'm gonna give you the fattest, juiciest steak I've got. Do I have to give him more? Let me give him smaller, though. I don't want to use up all my... Or maybe I just carry him on. I'll, like, maybe he'll just follow me in. I got a pupper. I guess I didn't feed it enough. Maybe one more. What? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I guess I just gotta keep giving it meat. Good now? You gonna follow me in? And he just turns right around. I'm about to ready to do the same thing, Hugot. Never super clear on how this mechanic works in Breath of the Wild. I hate to do this, but this is my last ditch effort. I'm just gonna shower it in meat. Here you go, eat up. If you don't do the thing, though, I'm gonna fucking put you in a box and scoop you up, rocket you away, you little fuck nugget. Apparently, they eat apples too. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's leading the way now.
Okay, so you just basically have to fucking gorge it. I never even did this in, once in Breath of the Wild. I knew it was a thing, but I just never bothered. <laughs> Ember trousers. Hot water attack. Uh, hot weather, I mean. Cool. It's in ancient rituals. This item is made of the heat absorbing cloth. Produces flame in high temperature environments. Oh, hey, what'd you do? Oh. Yeah, I kind of picked that up from what they were saying. That all the chests were just run green rupees. No way, there are a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit. But we never thought you'd actually find it. You've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Finders keepers. We're not going to try to take it from you. Uh. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in here? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself. Out of the way. There's treasure, you in there? Aha! Ah. Oh darn, it's just a regular old bottle. Oh. Don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, person. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah. You got a deck. Two have found my treasure. These ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I've hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one. And I'll reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel. One on the skull's left eye. And one on... Old stump in Hyrule Field. Good luck. Okay, so this doesn't lead to the Fierce Deity. However, this does seem to. This goes treasure the Fierce Deity. Okay, this is cool. Skull's left eye. I know that there's a Leviathan up here, so maybe it's that. Because it's not going to be like your average like skull rock. Because I feel like they'd be a little too much because those things are everywhere. But these is only like a few of them. There's like a Leviathan here. It... You have all three pieces. You come back to the cave and wear the armor to complete the quest. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, this is fucking cool. Also, I assume I can get the sword again too, right? Like I assume like after every blood moon maybe it resets. So that's that's nice. I'm actually going to have a reason to like get those. In Breath of the Wild is amiibo only and it was like a very small chance of getting it. So I got one like once just so I can hang it up in my house and then I never did it again because it was just too much hassle to be worth it. You can buy infinitely from post statues. Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, hello. Oh, there's all my meat back. <laughs> nice fucking hammer.
down for it, but you can buy as many of them as you want. It's the same for other amiibo weapons. That's awesome. Yeah, I got a, uh... I was showing this off in the chat the other day. I was exploring the depths. I had a map, and I followed it, and I got the Wind Waker boomerang. Whoops. There's a cave here. I'm so tempted to go in. Oh, I have a quest. I need to remember this. I do. I. I you know what? The new the Nobu stuff is easy to find because they're kind of scattered about. At some point, I'll have to do some uh, cave diving over here. I imagine there's a lot of mining opportunity here. My guess for the armor location was wrong. It's not going to be the Leviathan Skull here. Oh. Hang on. I'm going to... Done the floor. Let me place the three keys. Oh, whoops. Uh... Beneath the bed came in the Kent Citadel. One in the skull's left eye. An actual skull somewhere. Oh, oh, are they all going to be in that region? Okay, so I just have to look around Akala. Alright, I'm going to start with the Citadel. That's an easy one. Actually, I could probably see the skull on the map if I looked enough. They usually appear as like a... Like this. That looks like a skull. Possibly. It's the east of where I am right now. Yeah. Okay. I probably shouldn't have warped away then. Just passed it when I was scrolling. Okay, uh, I looked up around. Let's start here. Right here? Is a skull over here? What is it, like this? Hard to tell which of these might be a skull. East, east of here. Oh, Skull Lake. Oh! Okay, I didn't even consider that. I forgot all about this lake. 
And the left eye. Okay, so I'm going to be going underground for this piece. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, is it a side quest for the Tingle suit? Because if it's like a fun little side quest, I'd probably do it on stream. I like going on these like big adventures like this. This one's kind of cool how it's like a bunch of like riddles. Just sending you to different corners of the land. I hope the Tingle suit has a better effect this time. Uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> Apparently there's a talus around there somewhere. Oh, that's where they... What they give you. Next time I'll do that. I'll be back in the area anyways. I completely forgot to do that. I got ahead of myself. Sign cuck. It looked like there could have been something here, but... We got boners. I should use a shittier weapon. Alright, your number's already mining for me. I don't know where the head went. 
Oh, there's some big seeds. Alright, you're up, you know, though. Everyone just crouched together, making it hard to... Down locked. Oh boy. What? Read you. He's like trying to stomp on them. guys. <laughs> oh, you can flurry rush that. Not that it does much good. It's a shockwave. <laughs> Didn't even give me a chance to do it. Up there, but I'm gonna just do a little bit of collecting in here first. Some of the stuff got burned. These giant bright seeds are always nice to have. Okay. gonna end up being one of my main go-to armors. It's gonna replace the uh, Phantom set. So you can actually upgrade it. You guys just hold still. Is 
This is going to be a good source of gems. You can't upgrade the mask, but you can upgrade the other two pieces. Oh, that sucks. Can I still get a set bonus, despite not being able to upgrade the mask? Okay. Okay, you know, Bo. Okay. Okay, that's good. I can still get a... Nice. At least there's that. It'll still be better than the Phantom set. I'll still have more armor than that. Alright, I'm done with that. Okay, he recharged. I'm doing it again. No gems. I was hoping for gems, but... Okay, Akala is next. The Citadel. Which is somewhere around... Under the bed chamber. for a second. Two-handed would be nice. Yeah, I'll use this, and... The guide says you can upgrade the mask, but you could have sworn the game wouldn't let you. Maybe you just didn't have the materials and didn't notice, or something. It would be weird if only one piece out of a whole set was unable to be upgraded. It's attack power. I'm going to save that Lionel Horn for a rainy day. Okay. try to save my arrows and fight this guy the old-fashioned way with my gloom resist okay kind of back off for a second let me go god they're so fucking fast Got my green gloom reset a bit. Oh, they can climb. Come on, refill. It's taking so long, why? Does that refill in combat? Okay, that changes my plan a little bit. out anyways. I didn't take any gloom damage. Power I did, though. Oh, 
That wasn't so bad. on another gloom spear I can make a gloom spear spear that'd be busted alternatively oh my god this is a terrible idea <laughs> this is gonna look so stupid a 90 damage spear <laughs> <laughs> and it looks so dumb. Okay, now, oh. I, I like the gloom weapons, those are cool. Little risk reward weapon. They come in clutch. Uh, bed chambers. Maybe here. Should try going in. S there's a way in. Do I get in? There should be like a. Here we go. Royal Guard Spear. It's my first Royal Guard weapon I've seen. I passed it. This is why blind people shouldn't play video games. I can't even drive, so how am I supposed to save Hyrule? Oh! Yeah, I just found it as your message popped up. Sweet. Another piece down. Arrows are always nice. Looks like there's a lot going down down here. Bet I can find a bubble down here. You know, though, I kind of should fault myself for blame, uh, missing that because that was actually in Breath of the Wild. And I always forget that that's there. Of course, it wasn't this extensive. There wasn't like a whole cave underneath. It was just a little room with boxes. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the log. Uh, what is the skulls of die? One in an old stump in Hyrule Field. That one's very on the nose. I'm going to Hyrule Field. Uh, Hyrule Field is somewhere around. Oh, right here. You know what? I think I know what stump it's talking about. If it's what I think it is, I have walked by this fucking thing so many times. Just going around, like, gathering stuff. Like, killing monsters off stream. In, like, my early... 
days of playing this. Don't remember where it is exactly. It's going to be in the southern area. Yeah, it's like a big, tall tree stump. I think it has like some platforms around it that monsters patrol on. It's marked on the map. Oh, it actually has a text over it. Oh, right here. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of a different thing. But yeah, I know what this is. This is a Hinox here in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I don't think it's there now, though. I think it's just like a Korok. I actually tried to go down it like when I was randomly exploring off stream. But then I got sidetracked by the Korok. I ended up failing the Korok, and I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like it. It's probably just going to be some rupees. And then I left. <laughs> Missing out on part of, like, one of the best sets. You went down it, but completely missed the armor piece. This game feels a lot more comparable to Elder Scrolls than Breath of the Wild did. The length of the story. And how easy it is to actually get sidetracked from the story. Did that with an entire armor set and felt like such an idiot when you were gathering them earlier. <laughs> Open your gob. Okay. Playing hardball? Fine. Burn. Good shot, Tolan. It's not bad at all. Yeah, okay. I'll get rid of the line of one. It's a cool looking shield. Man, I can't imagine how good... I, I can only imagine just how freaking good... Uh, the elemental key size are on a Lionel bow. All those shots. Imagine getting one of those uh, five shot Lionel bows. And having that and just having all those arrows home in. I should experiment with the Gleok wing. The next enemy I see. Like the next major enemy. I'm sure there'll probably be another boss down here. That's what you're using against King Gleox, the five-shot bow. 
Yeah, that, that would be really good. Gliak wouldn't be able to do anything against you. An actual joke. Even the king would just be nothing. Oh, that's where I got the shield. Well, this is where we're going to scoop the Deku Princess into a cum jar. Oh yeah, how did you miss this? Ah. Full set. An attack up set that I can upgrade. Good shit. Whoa, hat boner. You see that? Uh, where's the marker? And this time I'll actually buy the thing from those guys. Most of the amiibo armor also have attack up as their set bonus. Nintendo knows what the players want. It's the best bonus. This is a cool looking set. Now we've got Hudson to look after us and protect us. I gotta narrow it down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Way to go, Dak, you're a genius. Uh, sorry, what? Oh, come on, can't we have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? Yeah, we're not going to tell you one word about the bandit. This goes old manuscripts. Prison, why? Why would you say that? Ah. I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Oh. It's fine. The treasure's as good as ours. And this guy never would work out these riddles, even if we told him. Hey, buddy, you want me to tell you what the manuscript said? <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give him no interval up for free. I'll run you a hundred rupees. Oh. Pleasure doing business. Trust me, that was a steal. If you find the treasure, it'll be worth it more than a number, uh, measly 100 rupees. The tool. Oh. Discover the green clothes. Do I have to actually pay for each of these individually? Green clothes of a man who admired fairies and hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. So the little twins sign. To the big twin to open the door of my treasure. Oh. That's what it says. Oh, so it's going to be on the Tingle Islands, I bet. 
I bet your head's really spinning after all that. A mature like you probably has no idea what to begin with. Uh, good thing we already puzzled everything out, right, Dak? <laughs> You're welcome to try putting your little rookie brain to the test. I got these treasures in the bag. I still have enough. Well, I guess I'll do it. Ah. Sucks to have to give up all my money, but I do want to get all these different armor sets. <laughs> mm. oh. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies. Okay, it's the same guy. The forgotten pirate cavern looks the foot of Cape Kales overlooking the Nekluda Sea. Short, shrill song of wind through the lips will open the way to my treasure. That's it. You already solved the riddle from the first old manuscript. You only got one at a time. That's the rule. Already solved both of those. The other ones haven't you, Dak? The riddle that can't be solved once it falls in my hands. Pretty easy, though. If you think long and hard about it, you might be able to figure it out. Not the Tingle Islands. Surprisingly, none of this stuff is there. Yeah, that makes no sense. Okay, so that's not what I meant by the little twin. Oh, Twin Peaks, though. Right. I, I, I should have deciphered that from the literal name of the riddle. <laughs> well. It's what the other manuscript said. Or you want me to refresh your memory? <laughs> ah. Ah. Discovered the green clothes of a man. The, the statues of the eight heroines. Oh, that's in the desert. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. That was a shrine in Breath of the Wild. Under the valley carved in that Henmar's descent. Shrine of light. Day. Upon the towering eighth. The path to the treasure will open before you. The end. Oh. Alright, this one's a really doozy of a riddle. It's hard to solve from the manuscript alone. I'll tell you the answer if you want. Uh? Press it. No. no. It was a joke, Dak. Mr. Rock. Flint. Treasure. Fierce Deity Sword. A peculiar great sword allegedly used by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It slashes wildly in battle, is possessed by a fierce deity. Awesome. Hang on. Actually, there's only one proper way. We gotta have the full suit. Oh, whoops. God damn it. I keep fumbling in the controls, trying to remember how to get the different weapon poses. Okay, you guys need to get the fuck out of the screen here, because you're gonna ruin the picture. Oh, again with the control fumbling. No. Oh, okay. It's the left trigger. Actually. There we go. Fuck yeah.
I am terrified to imagine what it's going to take to upgrade this set. This is like an end game level armor. Equal stats to the Barbarian set, which is like my main armor set that I use in Breath of the Wild. I've been trying to get the young Link amiibo to work so that I can get a Majora's Mask paraglider. Because apparently that's one of the things that amiibo gives, but... Uh, my power tag is just not working with this amiibo uh, bin file. I have not been able to get it to like read it. just not appearing at all in the list when I try to select it. Can't be having your cool pants. Uh, of course I need more fucking scales. not too bad to upgrade. I need to get the rest of that set. I'm gonna want to claw from each of them too. At some point I want to check this out. Maybe next stream after I explore the Great Plateau. I wanted to explore the Great Plateau tonight, but it's getting past midnight and I need to get to work. Um, change the items needed for the three springs from scales to claws. Uh, that's right, the three springs. I also want to check out Korok Woods at some point. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to do, but I can't. I'm suddenly drawing a blank. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I, it wasn't going to be your thing. I had an idea, but you know what? Let's do your thing, intro. Uh, where on the map do I want to be, like, heading? Is it going to be underground, above ground? It's going to be in the depths? Okay. And what direction should I be going? Above Great Abandoned Central Mine. Okay, so... What, like this? The water surrounding thing? Okay. So it's this. I've walked past this so many fucking times. I've actually been there. I didn't actually go through it, though. Okay, uh... I'm really good at just... Yeah, that looks like a Coliseum. This should be fun. This seems like a good thing to end the stream on. I am going to put on my strongest gear. And that would still be the Phantom set. Everything else has to be upgraded to a fucking Oblivion in order to compare to it. Alright, let's get all dressed up again. This. And a little bit of... Let's save that for the Lionel. It's time. <laughs> that 
That's a cool looking spear. Oh, that looks really cool. save that for the real challenges uh, start the fight with this to eat up first too. Shit, I don't have any food on me. I'm gonna fill up a couple hearts for the apples real fast. But mushrooms will do. And then I can fill up the rest with attack boost when I get there. Should uh, probably get these guys ready to go too. Might get a little rough because there is gloom to worry about in here. Okay. I think I have some springs. Yeah. These things kind of suck. Don't slide, don't slide. Okay. Let's trigger it with this junk. Floating Coliseum. Okay. Uh, let's start with this. You heard people talking about it. Oh boy, it's something special about this then. Okay. Looks like there's a bunch of Lionels I'm gonna have to fight. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is this, a red one? It is. I don't have this in my compendium yet. I've yet to see a red. I don't want to kill him yet. Careful than that. I can worry about pictures later. to save that. I'll be using it for sure, though. Okay, it just goes right through the chest. That's bullshit. I don't know how to fight Spear Lynels. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I need to make some balloon recovery food. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do this. Should have done that before going in. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, I know. Yep. There's a, oh, I bet there's a gold. Oh, it... Checkpoint. I don't know whether or not to call that a good thing. You know what? I'm going to load my... Personal save that I made. I'm going to start from scratch. I do have the travel medallion. And I upgraded it. I, I kind of want to make some gloom recovery food. Make myself some room for error. You know what? Instead of using one pot at a time to do this, I'm going to... Hang on. I think I have one available. I've put one at the King Gliok. I can collect another one. This one right here. That was from when I... No, that's not the... Hang on, where is it? It's by the... This. This right here. That's right. I had one at a fairy fountain, but that's fine. It's I can get to it from this. So... Okay, uh, place one here, and I'm going to do some cooking real quick. This is going to be the last thing I do tonight. I'm way over my time. <laughs> this fucking game, man.
I have my portable pots, but doing them one by one by one just seems really annoying because I need to make a bunch of these. So I'm just going to use my personal cooking space. You weren't on when I showed off my house. I can do that real quick. Just a quick little run through. I'm really happy with how this came out. It's cooking space. It's about to store my weapons. Finally, my big prize that I was planning on for here. Fuck yeah. I got the Ganon sword, and of course, I, I always love this design, the NES sword. I used amiibos for those too. Figured it wouldn't hurt since I was just gonna display them. Got my Riju portrait. This, of course. A nice little shrine with a rooftop garden. And Link sleeping space. When I sleep till morning, I get a nice view of the sunset, for sunrise from here. Okay. Anyways, enough of that. I want gloom recovery. Uh, that's gloom resistance, and that would override my attack boost. So, uh, try to think. I want the sun alliance. That's what I want. to find things sometimes. It's too much shit. I'm gonna do by type. It'll make it easier. There they are. How good's three? Nine. That should be good. Yeah, you can't have two different... Uh, potion effects at once. Assuming it's like Breath of the Wild. I don't know. Maybe. Hang on. No intro has me curious. Is it like the extra hearts? Because the extra hearts don't get overridden. I'm going to try that. Like, maybe Gloom Resist is different, right? No, because I think it runs on a timer, right? Hang on, I'm going to try it. I'm going to make some dark clumps. And I'll eat those before the fight just to test it. Depends on the timer. If it's timed, then, yeah, it would be overridden. If it's not just giving you the little purple hearts. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing what I was doing then. We're going to assume that it gets overridden. Uh, now I lost where I was with the... Here we go. I don't do this enough. I get gloomed all the time. That should do. Look at all that. That should be plenty. I have some room for error now. Okay. We have work to do here. Our final task for the night. And then I got work to do. I'm going to keep... I think I'm going to keep the travel medallion here, too, because... Yeah, this, if this is a good place for farming... I mean, it obviously is. All these Lynels. It's going to be imperatives for some armor sets. Okay. Here it goes.
Let's get rid of some of my trash here. That way I can pick up the Lionel weapons that drop. This is kind of junk, but it is good for mining. I'm going to hang on to it. It's durable, too. Let's make this into something. I'm not going to use something super crazy because these spears aren't durable. Sort by attack power. Uh, this'll do. Forty-seven damage. It looks fucking stupid. Okay, I'm gonna save again so I don't have to make that again. <laughs> Time to eat. pictures again. That was close. Do I have a blue Lionel picture? I think I do. I don't. Album full. Fuck. Just clear up a few. I'm not going to do anything super crazy. Oh, that's Keeper. Good enough. Whew, that was close. Shielded just in time. Good shot, Talon. That guy was really close. I got caught on the chest. <laughs> Link actually got singed. Fuck. Lionels are super easy until they use something other than a one-handed weapon. Fuck, that shockwave. I hate the shockwaves, that's the worst part. You can't really dodge them. I'm gonna do a little gloom resist here. Too bad I'm out of all those health ups that I had. Whew. 
Okay, he's about to do that. One attack. Oh, I shouldn't use this so willy-nilly. I'll save it for the last one, so I'm not taking too much damage. Do something here real quick. I want to see how this works on his, on Lionel's. Where are they? Right here. Headshot. Good to know. It aims for the head. always ow I'm gonna have to make more mighty di banana dishes door. This is a one-handed user. Is this going to be a gold? Nope. Not gold, but he is armored. to do this but and then I immediately lose it all anyways Yeah, it's starting to look like there's no golds in this game. 
If they were golds, this would be the place to find one. Okay. That doesn't do gloom damage if you use it for a uh, flurry, so that's good to know. going to be death. Yep. I hate two-handed Lynels. Hate them. The shockways are fucking awful. I always actively avoided them in Breath of the Wild because of the fucking shockwave. I always had to pass up on like Lynel spears and stuff as much as I wanted them. You just can't flurry wash the shockwave. Real glad that there's checkpoints. Yep, even if I dodge out of the way. Terrible. I'm surprised they never gave Lionel's like a horse kick attack for people who try to cheese them by spinning. Oh, wrong dodge. This is gonna be the Link Becomes Obese stream. Well, mistakes were made there. I'm just using up all my food at this point. I gotta be more careful. Yep, there was nothing I could do there. <sighs> hate, hate the two-handed ones. I'm just, I'm starting to fall apart. I'm really quickly starting to fall apart. Just eat up all my resources. For some reason that didn't work. I gotta switch to a different some master sword I gotta just do more of that
Look at how big that shockwave is. Ridiculous. Chill the fuck out, dude. Valuable parts, anyways. Okay. Pretty much everything here is trash compared to that boat. I'm gonna drop some of these gloom bows. These aren't gonna be useful to me for a good while. Times three, a times five would be fantastic. I bet that. I bet that's a sage as well. I'll bet you get already got all the sage as well. Oh! Wow, that's a fitting way to end this. We did the Fierce Deity quest and then we got the Majora's Mask. Now I kind of wish I'd have done this as a uh, Fierce Deity. Okay, let's search the room. Looks like all those bows that were on the ground disappeared. Or they got knocked over here. No, that's where I dropped. Well, that's a pity. Oh, right, I died. Uh, that's a pity. I wish I'd have just thought to quickly drop all those bows. I probably could have gotten a times five. Bring it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's a rather rare find. that's a good place to end uh, what do I have for just two okay I'm gonna go ahead and save here that was good all right I'll catch you guys around I got work to do I gotta I gotta do adult shit as much as I want to keep playing Adulting is kind of fucking stupid. <laughs>